Yo, what's up, Internet? My name is Anthony, and today we continue our ranking the Raiders' positions. At number 9, we have the tight ends. Let's take a deeper look. In 2016, the Raiders had a pretty good group overall. Lee Smith is an excellent blocking tight end who can catch the ball when needed. Clyde Walford was expected to be the primary catcher with Mike Rivera as depth. After Lee Smith went down, Walford needed to be the blocker and Rivera needed to be the receiving tight end. Overall, more talent or experience was needed to take advantage of the middle of the field. In the offseason, Mike Rivera hit free agency and left for the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Raiders expected him to leave, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. Weeks into free agency, Reggie McKenzie was able to pick up Jared Cook. Cook has excellent talent, but really wasn't productive outside of the playoff run. But Cook had a team-friendly deal and could end up playing above expectations. The Raiders now have a pretty good core heading into the season. Currently, the Raiders have a very solid group of tight ends. Lee Smith should be back and will be the primary blocking tight end again. Clyde Walker has the talent and can be both a blocking and receiving tight end and is still young enough that he can still develop. Jared Cook has excellent talent and should take advantage of the middle of the field created by Cooper and Crabtree. Overall, this group is good. They don't have world beating talent, but they're an above average group. In the best case, Lee Smith comes back and returns to form as a devastating blocker. Jared Cook uses his talent and creates mismatches all over the field. Clyde Walford develops even further and can be used to spell both Smith and Cook. Walford gets better as the season wears on and takes the field more, both inline and flexed out. Derek Carr has even more weapons to spread the ball to, and the offense somehow finds a way to upgrade from last year. In the worst case, Lee Smith struggles to return from injury. Walford is needed to be a blocker more, and helps Lee Smith out more often. Jared Cook isn't able to develop chemistry with Carr and take advantage of his talent. Only one tight end takes the field at once, and they rotate based off down and situations. The tight end group looks just okay, and shows flashes throughout the season. In the most likely case, this group doesn't have much fluctuation on what can happen with them. All are good, above average players who fit into a role. Cook and Walford have potential to be excellent receiving tight ends, but have never been able to reach their full potential. Lee Smith will be used more or less as a sixth offensive lineman and bring toughness. This group will rotate onto the field and play well at times taking advantage of their physical abilities. Overall, the tight ends are solid and good. Not much can really change with them. The Raiders team is pretty solid overall, which caused the tight ends to be the number 9th ranked position. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below, and have a good day.